It is Monday, May 8th at 4.45 with a quorum president and chambers and I'm calling this uh, Human Resources Committee to order. Uh, number one is approval of the April 10th, 2023 minutes. They're in your packet. Any questions? If none, I will take a motion to... Thank you. We have a motion. Do we have a second to accept? Second by Martins, thanks. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, passes unanimously. Number two is the Human Resources Report for April 2023. It's in your packet. Um, anything you need to talk about, James, or? No. Okay, any questions then? If none, we will put that on file. Number three, discussion of possible action approving the elimination of the positions of parking operations coordinator, one FTE, parking cashier, one FTE, and parking operations worker, zero FTE, and the creation of the position of building maintenance technician, 1.5 FTEs. I think uh, with this, the public works director and I spoke about this, uh, as you know, there, we've had some better technology, which has basically, I'm not going to say, I hate, well, I'm never going to say make humans obsolete, but it's made it easier with the parking to where we don't really uh, need humans. Um, but uh, with that being said, with those, those one of the, um, one of those employees is already put in for retirement, and I think in the other is kind of, waiting to see what happens uh, with the process here tonight. But what, uh, what the Public Works Director is proposing is eliminating those two positions, but taking those FT, the uh, one and a half FTEs to the building uh, facilities department. Now, uh, our building facilities, we have, I don't know how many uh, people we have, but I know myself, when I wanted to get my degrees hung, it took almost a month to get for, uh, for him to have time to come and do it. So he's very, very, uh, he's very overwhelmed. And so I think uh, Eric's thought in this was to be able to give some more support uh, to building and facilities maintenance. Uh, and also uh, it will be the savings of one half FTE instead of the two employees, it'll be one employee and one uh, part-time employee. So what is, what is, I, I get the one ret is retiring, what is the plan for the other uh, person? Um... Right now I mentioned, uh, I think uh, Eric mentioned that one of the people, I think uh, may put in for one of the building uh, technician or maintenance positions, uh, but they've known about this for I think almost a year now. Uh, so I think they they were able to make arrangements that they knew that these positions were um, were being made obsolete. Uh, so that person's not going to be. I don't think that they're going to be just le left out in the dark. Uh, I don't know that person. Uh, I had originally heard that uh, that both of them were retiring, but I got with Jennifer and she could only confirm that one. So I think the other person uh, may put in for the if the uh, building maintenance position is approved, they may put in for that. So do we know when this transition will, I mean, is this um, yet this year or when will this change? I think we're, the, the deadline that we're kind of running up against is July, and I think we've got a pretty good run on that. So we want to get this done by July. I think, Eric, if, do you have anything to add to that? James, um, I think, yeah, yeah, both of the employees in, in parking have known about this since last year. Um, and so the, um, you know, the individuals have to make their own decisions on the direction that they're going to go. So I know that uh, the one is retiring and the other one has explored some other opportunities within the city as well. Okay, so, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? If not, I'll take a motion to accept this. Thank you. Motion by Herbs, second by, second by Martins. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes unanimously. Discussion and possible action approving the reclassification of the transit operations manager grade 14 to deputy transit director grade 12. All right. Uh, as you know, we have a new transit director, uh, 
and uh, Matthew, he's here. And I think that this is something that we discussed uh, going from the transit uh, operations manager more to a deputy uh, director. In doing this, this, this has a lot of benefits for the city. Uh, one uh, is this will be a position to where that deputy could be mentored so that we could do have a better succession plan than kind of what happened this time. Uh, we want to be more, we want to be uh, we hope that Matthew stays forever, but we know that it doesn't always work that way. So we it really helps us in our succession plan. But also uh, in today's departments and organizations. With this, having a deputy, we'll take on more responsibility. We'll give uh, Matthew time to do more higher level, director level stuff when it comes to, I don't want to use words like stuff, but, uh, you know, he'll be able to um, be more involved in, in the grants, be more involved, in, more, excuse me, being more involved in the higher level things uh, and not so much into the day-to-day -day things that, that uh, a lot of times directors have to deal with. So, um he, along with uh, the mayor and I, really thought this was a good idea uh, as a good organizational uh, development uh, for uh, that department. I'm going to chime in quick as um, as I've been on transit for many, many, many years. Um, I we our hope in hiring Matthew is to kind of change our direction a bit and be higher thinking on public private partnerships. Possibly these are all possibilities. Um, you know, we all hear daily that people want bus busing extended um, extended hours. They want routes outside the city. That's not all up to us, but I would like, I mean, we would like to have Matthew really focus on that. Megan has a good handle on um, the day-to-day -day running, and even though Matthew will be involved in that, I think, again, exactly what James said as well, is that we need to have two good minds that know what's going on. One knows what the other, they can both focus on different aspects of it and then maybe we can make some um, strides in in extending our transit number one and number two if somebody gets sick or if somebody retires or somebody leaves or is on an extended vacation or has an accident or you know god forbid anything else we have somebody in that department that can pick up the reins and that's important um, because that is a very big department and needs to be run efficiently Hello, Mayor. Hello. Um, I just really wanted to express my strong support of this. I think it's really important that we have um, two people kind of working both on the vision and on the operations. I think that this sets us up for success. You know, we. I don't think it's a secret that we struggled a tiny bit uh, losing 40 years of institutional knowledge. Um, so I think this is going to really help us go a long way. Um, and also just, you know, getting everybody kind of spreading it around. There's a ton of federal kind of grant dollars we got to look at. There's a lot of stuff that people need to know. So it'll be great to have folks uh, working together on this. Go ahead. So well, the, well, the well, the new deputy transit director's job, it sounds like they're becoming more involved, more responsible. Um, but yet I see that the grade goes from 14 to 12. What does that mean? Does that mean? That means that uh, that person's salary is going to be more in line with the other deputy directors in the city uh, or assistant. Well, I think I know in, in that classification, you have the assistant finance manager, you have the superintendents in uh, public works. One of the big things I think that one of the big differences is that uh, that position will now have the transit supervisors reporting to them. So they're going to really have a lot of oversight, a lot more management. And I think that's reflected uh, in that proposed job description uh, that was put forward. So that, that change in grade reflects that change in responsibility of this position. So we, in past, we've had experiences with Gallagher, the wage, the wage people. Do, this, do these changes go through them because I thought they were, we were sort of working with them to make sure that these new job descriptions flow throughout, you know, equally well within the city. So do we, do we, 
with the rest of these, do we check with Gallagher, you know, so as how it fits into our into our whole wage survey? Without getting too far in the weeds in this, basically we're talking about two different things and we really can't talk about those interchangeably. What we're talking about now, and that's why they call it a class and compensation study. What Gallagher's doing is compensation. This is classification. Uh, compensation basically is saying um, what are, you know, what does a HR director in here, green, or other comparable places, what do they make? Now, the classification system, we have a lot more control over that because that classification system, ha even it has to have science behind it, but it has to fit our goals. Uh, it has to fit our equity, whether it be internal and also uh, uh, to the other facilities. So we have a great deal of flexibility, even though they're doing a compensation study, we have a lot to say when it comes to uh, where the jobs are classified because they really don't know the workings of the city. Well, I get that, but we did we did a survey, I think, in 19 of the whole class. So I'm sure that within five years, maybe 24, 25, we'll be looking at a new, a new whole classification. You know, somebody will come in We'll take a whole look at the wages and classification. I just concern that what we're doing today with these are going to mesh um, when things come in a few years, you know, so that everything is not out of joint, so to speak, but are is equal, you know, that we're fitting it very well into into the grid that was established with the classification study. That's my Right. And I understand what you're saying, uh, and, and that, that is true, but uh, I guess from my end of it is how many people are we going to lose if we're going to have to wait two or three more years on the, I mean, and not even well, knowing how we're going to do this? Because these things, some of these classification systems, they last eight to ten years, not three to five. Well, we were doing the way, uh, and it's not on the agenda today, but, mm -hmm. you know, we were doing the wage survey. I think we were doing a wage survey, but that's for another day. But I was just concerned that the, the movement of some of these into different categories and different grades meshes with what we've been doing in the past. That's my concern. And I guess it has, so um, I'm comfortable with that. Yes, and, and again, I don't, there, there's really, um, this is really an art and a science. There's really no, you know, everyone does it quite differently. You can go to another city and they will have jobs class differently. So there's no one way to do it. Uh, I think you have to really look at uh, what are your goals, what's your budget, what's, what is your um, equity. You take all those things in, and that's why you really have to do those things internally. You really can't depend completely on a contractor to do that. Well, that, and I want your assurance that, that, you know, I guess that's why I asked the question. Yes, oh, I agree. I agree. That's a good question. Uh, but, yes, we're, you know, uh, really what I'm doing now, when I, at the, the positions that we're going to talk about tonight, uh, really are just ones that have just over time picked up a lot of responsibilities that weren't originally theirs. Uh, and we have to really compensate people, you know, for those added responsibilities, because if we don't, we'll lose them. Any further questions? And that'll take a motion to accept. <laughs> there we go. We got the Herbs and Martins going tonight. <laughs> Way to go. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? No? That passes unanimously. Okay, onward. Discussion and possible action approving the change of administrative assistant for DPW Engineering grade 17 to office manager DPW Engineering grade 17. Uh, with this one, there, as you can see, there's really no compensation change. It's basically a title change. Uh, one of the reasons that uh, this is the route that we're going is that in our uh, multiple um, in our multiple classifications for admins, uh, we've got four different classifications. Uh, in, in some cases, the only thing that separates a three from a four is that one has direct reports and one doesn't. Uh, that is 
you know, that's one way of looking at things. But with this, with with the uh, responsibilities that I've spoken with Eric, that this position has taken on, um, they've taken on. Maybe they they will not have direct reports now, but they will be doing things like budgeting, which are very management level responsibilities uh, and basically we're just saying that that person will hold serve or hold the classification that they have. Any questions? If not, I'll take a motion to accept. Thank you. Motion by Gisselman, second by Herbst. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes unanimously. Okay, onward. Uh, discussion and possible action approving the rec yeah, reclassification of Administrative Assistant 3 Fire, Grade 19, to Administrative Analyst Fire, Grade 17. Uh, again, this one, um, and I guess I want to preface some of this. I know there's a lot, and I think a lot of it is not that this just happened, but a lot of these were on hold, and, I, and they just kind of fell in my lap when I got here. Uh, so it was, I was in the chair when they had to be dealt with. But uh, I feel like, uh, and, and, and Chief Bartak may want to come and, and speak a little bit, but this one is really, uh, is really important uh, because when I looked at all of these classifications, this one probably changed the most uh, and the duties, and I, and I think it's really, um, that's why I really would like for him to talk about it because I really want him to get uh, the board to, to really feel, you know, what we're looking at uh, in this uh, reclassification. Sure. Thank you, James. And uh, uh, our HR director is absolutely correct. Uh, this was waiting for him for his arrival. Um, I became the fire chief in uh, 2021. Uh, following our administrative assistance uh, annual uh, evaluation that year. And so I, in 2022, did the first evaluation under my tenure as fire chief. And we always review the job description during those annual evaluations. And it was very apparent to me uh, that the job description that our current administrative assistant was assigned to did not follow at all what she was doing for work. Uh, she, uh, our current administrative assistant, came to us in 2013. She was in the city. She was up in our, our, uh, our housing development uh, position, and she came over to our department. And at that point, it was, it was really a strictly an administrative uh, position. Answered the phone, paid bills, uh, answered calls, did calendar scheduling, assisted the fire chief, things like that, assisted with report writing. And since then, in the last 10 years, it has morphed into a uh, into a, a position that is really uh, key in our infrastructure of this community and our emergency response and the fact that they oversee so many aspects of our software and hardware that are implemented inside of our department. And every year, it seems, we add a new layer of software, hardware. Say, under my, under my tenure, we've added the Lexapol um, uh, policy platform. We've added the Phoenix G2 alerting system. Uh, we had to move from the firehouse fire reporting system. Uh, we had two systems at that time. We had firehouse reporting. We had uh, image trend. Now we've combined those into one. Um, we, have, uh, we have also the CAD system that we have to put uh, units into. We only have one employee that does handles all those software uh, pieces as the lead and contact for that and oversees their basically their, their, well, their well-being and the con constant maintenance of it. I'll tell you that if we were to lose our current administrative assistant, we would be quite lost for a long period of time. The fire chief, I do not have the ability to develop my own reports and all these. I don't have the depth of understanding uh, that our administrative assistant has in those. She's the first call for all things IT, uh, software, and hardware in our department. And I'm, I'm selling way short of everything that she does. I highlighted in a memo uh, to James' predecessor in February of 2022, uh, a four or five page memo that describes every one of those duties that was added on. And so when we started looking at how this, when James arrived, I, I sat down with him in, in January to talk about how we could possibly reclass this. And we really needed to look at where would someone still doing all the administrative assistant three um, uh, processes that were described to her in her original, in her original job description. We took the job in 2013 to where they are now. Um, I made a call to Jerry Klein and discussed with him because so much of it was software and hardware based. He really felt like an, an analyst position is what they would be ranked as up in his department and that's why we chose administrative analyst. 
It's a very unique one-off position because it's the only, so now this year we're, we've got 74 positions in the department. Uh, this is our only admin, our only admin. We don't have any redundancy there. Uh, in uh, 2020, uh, when we came into 2022 budget, I had requested a part-time person split between the police department, another layer of, of uh, succession or, or I should say uh, um, redundancy in that position. Well, unfortunately, the city wasn't able to afford it at that time. And so I will, I will tell you, our current admin has a very high capacity for work. She's been very patient waiting for this reclass to come along. Uh, I greatly appreciate her hard work that she does for our department and, uh, and how we run. Um, and uh, I think that uh, it's long overdue, you know, this, this reclass. Any questions, Chief? Hmm? Okay. So would a reclassification like this, would this open the door for a, creating a future um, administrative ass assistant uh, for the department? Because I, I think probably fire is probably one of the, one of the de few departments in the city that has the, um, I'm not going to say the most, you know, the, the most contracted um, uh, hierarchy in, you know, you've got the command structure of, of, of the firefighter paramedics, but not in the administrative side like you see in the other departments so yes and i think that uh to, to steal one of james uh, terms he talks about bench strength a lot we don't have any bench strength in our administrative ass assistant position or, or the reclass administrative assistant with it's a well it's a one person show there and that position is so key in the uh, in our department's day-to-day -day operations it's hard to imagine that we've only got one person in that key position i would welcome um, at least a, a part-time person in that. We've talked about that, possibly a shared position with another department in the city um, uh, to, to assist us with that. And of course, that would be something I would envision uh, coming down the line, absolutely. Mayor, it seems that she wants to speak, so I'll step out of the way. Sorry, I'm uh, imitating some people that <laughs> show up and hang out behind our commenters. Okay, um, I just want to give a little bit of a brief. I think you're onto something that probably there does need to be a little bit, but um, the person that we're talking about right now is super critical to our operations. And um, when we started talking about redesigning our website, for instance, I went to talk to IT and I was like, who can help us uh, from you know understanding how to do it, get it done? And they said, you know, we don't have anybody, but Mindy would be perfect for this. And so she's actually been helping us for the last year get everything together and she'll be training, or maybe you already, maybe she already has helped uh, train some of our uh, folks on our new website, which is really exciting. Um, but she's been doing a lot and I'm really excited that we're considering um, this kind of re reworking of her job, so. Any further questions? If not, I'll take a motion to accept. Okay, thank you. Second. Motions by Martin, second by Gisselman. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes unanimously. Thank you. Discussion and possible action approving the reclassification of occupancy specialist CDA from grade 20 to grade 19. Okay, this is another one, and I don't, I, uh, in the seat in the um, See, it's a community development association. Uh, basically, with this position, um, it's a backup to the um, spe some uh, some kind of specialist. I can't remember the name right now, but they're in. They would be in the same class. And I know that when uh, the director put forth the uh, new job description, this position had picked up uh, again a lot of responsibilities because it's going to be a backup to. Uh, the, I think it's occupation specialist. I can't remember. I should have remembered that name. But it's basically just going to put them one class up so that they can take on more responsibility and be a backup to that position um, uh, that, that's already there in the Community Development Association. Uh, the, I think the director, again, is looking at ways to really firm up some of these positions. Uh, again, to uh, to build bench bench strength. Excuse me, to be able to be able to operate when something happens to someone else to cross train uh, and to have that flexibility. Any questions? Just uh, this has come from the Community Development Authority. Yeah, that's what um, it is. Author yeah. Did yeah, I say authority. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. But this this has come from the board or just from administ 
This came from the director, basically. Okay. Uh, right. And, uh, you know, as we talked about, we always want to put all of these, you know, we went kind of go back and forth what needs to come before the HR committee and what doesn't. I think it's just a good idea, even though that their funding comes from that association. It's a good idea to get that cleared through the HR committee but when we're right. considering doing these. Just curious if it went to the authorities board, but maybe that's not important with regard to... The, the shuffling of the staff. Um, are they shuffling or are they? No, no, again, not, they're not shuffling. No, it's not shuffling, but the the realign, the, maybe the realignment. You know, and, and really the hard part, the thing about this is really the next one and these two go together, basically, because basically, I don't want to jump ahead, but what we're doing is we're eliminating the admin one, we're making that person an admin two which currently the occupational specialist is in the admin two range. So we're giving, giving them another bump to where they, to just maintain that separation, but also to give them more responsibility. So we have to consider these separately, but these two really kind of go together. But no, they're not, re, they're not redoing anything. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? If not, I'll take a motion to accept. Motion by Mar I'm sorry, motion by Herbst. <laughs> I was I was being psychic. <laughs> Second by Martins. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes unanimously. So we're going on to the one that James had just previously talked about discussion and possible action approving the reclassification of administrative assistant one for the community development authority to administrative assistant two to the community development authority and that goes from grade 21 to grade 20. Yes, and again, I, I kind of uh, foreshadowed this in the last basically uh, because the admin one and the admin twos, their, their descriptions are so similar. Uh, you really can't look at one and say, well, you're a two and you're a one. So basically, uh, the director felt uh, that this job needed to be reclassed because uh, she felt that the admin is doing a, a really good job and, and, and not an admin one, but at an admin two level. Uh, and I agreed with her on that also uh, because you couldn't really see the difference. Uh, so that's why we're asking to this one to be bumped up just one more class to be an admin too. Okay, thank you. Motion by Kisselman, second by oh, second by Herbst. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes unanimously. And finally, discussion of possible action approving the reclassification of administrative assistant one assessment, grade 21, to assessment technician, grade 20. All right, this is another one where I think uh, Rick came to us and said that they had this job previously uh, and it kind of went away. And when it went away, they replaced it with an admin one. Uh, and again, the duties have just kind of morphed uh, uh, into something, and he would like to go back to having uh, the uh, the assessment tech. Uh, so, Rick, if, if there's anything else you want to add, because I'm not super familiar with. Good afternoon. Um, so this request comes down to the assessment office had two positions. We had assessment technician that was done by an employee that had retired and an admin one position. When the assessment tech retired, those duties as far as creating parcels for taxation, creating ownership, making sure legal descriptions are correct, um, shifted to the admin position. And there wasn't any reclass done when that happened. And so I see that, that there's a lot of responsibilities that our department and the city relies on to make sure that assessments are correct and that the record is correct and you don't want to tax something that doesn't exist um, and that person is the forefront is the lead for for that position and is doing a bang up job and I think uh, you know deserves uh, the reclass to the assessment technician any questions thank you M motion by Gilsman second by Second. Martins. Then I got oh, just a quick question. Okay, go ahead. So, um, if, if if there was previously an admin one and an um, and an assessments tech, would this open the door then 
in the future to recreate an, ad, an administrative one in no. the department? No, it wouldn't. Um, she's doing both duties, um, same as um, the previous employee that had retired from the city. Um, they both were doing both duties, uh, the assessment tech position and the admin position. Okay. Sure. All right, with a motion and a second, um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And that passes unanimously. And so we are on to adjournment. So I need a motion to adjourn. Thank you. Motion by Herb, second by Martins. Thank you. We are adjourned. Have a good evening.